Pro 2300. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? So, Cal Peppers here. Just want to do a quick video explanation on. Uh, it's real basic how this uh, Dylan uh, Progressive Press works. If I break my neck out here in the garage. Uh, anyway, um, had uh, quite a number of uh, questions regarding it uh, after I did my last video. And uh, I guess I'll just try to make it as simple as possible. By no means will this be an educational video or a how to video, it's just basic. Uh, operation of this uh, device. So anyway, uh, this is the tool head. Uh, there's five stages to the tool head. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the first tool head, I guess we can just, uh, we'll go through uh, what it looks like when this uh, bad boy works. So right now we're at the top of the stage. This would be stage one, and you're looking at this shell right here. All right, so when I pull the handle back, it's going to go up into uh, this right here. And it's hollow as well. You can't really see up in there very well anyway. But uh, what it's going to do is that pin is going to deprime the uh, shell casing. So it's going to pull the primer out of the bottom of it and uh, as well as what they call reshaping the case. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure if it makes it bigger or smaller or just makes it uniform. Uh, I think it just uniforms it. So anyway, you pull it down. Here, let me get you over here. So we're in there. Come back on this guy. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta get a bullet. You'll see why this works that way in a second. Okay, so you pull back. All right, a bunch of things just happened right now. The uh, case filler, drop a shell in, into the tube. It rests about in here. Uh, the, yeah, I won't go into that. I'll just explain, we'll, we'll just take one trip. Okay, so uh, basically we now have a uh, shell that's been placed on this little rail. As soon as I lower the handle, this whole pile of stuff is going to rotate into station number two. Okay, uh, you will see now that uh, this case has been deprimed. There's no more primer in it. And if you look inside there, there's the new primer. So let's talk about station number two really quick. Um, actually, let me pull this out and you'll see what I've that happens here. Uh, if you watch that station right down in there, when you push forward on this handle, you see the primer jumping up and down. Uh, this is one of the mistakes I first started making when I started doing this. I wasn't pushing the handle forward enough, and I was, uh, they call that short stroking, I believe, uh, and the primer wasn't seating in the case correctly. So get that pushed up in there. And now you'll see that primer has disappeared and is pressed thusly up into the case. Uh, okay, so you're, you're forward, then you come back. Well, wait a minute. I'm gonna throw a bullet on in this side here. Okay, so we're at station number two. We went forward, put the primer in, pulling it back. Um, what's gonna happen is it goes up onto this thing uh, this does two different things. Uh, the bottom part of uh, this fits inside the shell case. It will dispense uh, the gunpowder into the shell case. And then you can see where this gets fatter right here. That's what's what they call belling the shell case. And I'll show you what that looks like as soon as we're done here. So we're going to go all the way. And now we're going to come around here to station three. And if you look at the shell case, you can see 
there's a little tiny, if you look at this one you can see it better, but it looks as though uh, the, the top of the shell case is flared, so to speak. Uh, that's so you can put a bullet on it. Um, this third station actually uh, does nothing. There's no die in here. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we're going to crank one more time. Uh, forward and back again. And I just realized I don't have my uh, <laughs> tray set up, so I'm dumping bullets on the thing there. Okay, so here we are over at uh, number four now. At this point, we have uh, powder inside the shell. Uh, we're going to place a bullet into the top of the case. And what this fourth thing is going to do here is... Uh, uh, phone's ringing. Oh, I'll screw up. Uh, that's going to push the bullet into the case to a prescribed amount that you adjust by turning this uh, in or out. Uh, so, we're going to keep that as is. So, uh, I'll go watch it go up in there. And uh, there we are at number five now, uh, basically. Uh, that's the last stage. Um, the uh, last thing that's going to happen is it's going to go up into this stage, and they call this the crimper stage. Uh, basically what goes on is this flare that uh, originally happened uh, is going to get pinched, squashed, and the uh, bullet will be crimped into the case. So we'll do that. And then uh, you'll see he'll travel along into a little steel ramp. Right up there, and voila! That's how you make bullets. Um, basically, when you buy one of these, uh, they're fairly modular. Uh, basically, you'll get a shell plate, a tool head, and uh, one of these uh, powder dispensers. And a couple of other knickknacks here and there, uh, the uh, case feed, and some other things. Uh, I have four of them. Uh, three of them are set up currently. I have this one for uh, nine millimeter. Uh, that one in the back there. That one's all set up to do uh, 223. And this is my 45 guy. And I have it all set up on this uh, little old school Craftsman toolbox, and I got all my tools and whatnot in here and all the uh, different uh, tool heads and dies are in here. Uh, I have all my uh, bullets in here. And, uh, and a couple of tons of powder in here. And a whole bunch of primers in here. And some more tools and stuff like that in here. Uh, case separators and whatnot. Uh, there's the last tool head. Uh, that tool head I bought for doing 308. But, uh, haven't done it yet, but I'll get there one day. So anyway, just wanted to uh, throw this video out there and uh, show you guys, uh, based on the questions I got, uh, how one of these guys works and uh, how easy it is to work. Uh, make work, that is. It's pretty simple. Just like that, making bullets. Alright, hope this helps you guys. Take care, YouTube.